Okay, so this is a quick demo on how to cut this um, jacket. We'll be cutting the, the back first. The length of the jacket is 23 inches. Um, but we're going to be minusing um, 3 inches. Let me mark the 23 inches first. So this is 23 inches for the length of the jacket. And we're marking 3 inches away. So when you are drafting a pattern, when we minus 3 inches, we will have 20 inches. But we have to add 1 inch for joining allowance. Half inch to join the band and half inch to join the shoulder. So that's how it works. So we have, we are going to now have 21 inches at the end of the day. So this 21 inches. I am going to place the shoulder here. The back pattern is on fold. So the shoulder is 14.5. Divided by 2 is 7.25. 14.5 divided by 2 is 7.25. Because it's a jacket, you add 1 inch so that it doesn't sit on the shoulder exactly. Then you add 0 0.5 inches for joining allowance, which will give us um, 8.75. Okay, so this is what we are going to place here 8.75. So this is the shoulder. Now there is something we call the chest line. The chest that I'm using here is nine inches. Okay, so I'll just place eight point seven five here as well, so that I can get a straight line. Now on this chest line, we we'll place the bust measurement here, or because it's a jacket, you can use the round of your of your jacket length, but. If your boss is bigger than here, you can use your boss measurement. So what we have in this measurement is the boss is 36 and the hem round also is 36, so it's 9 inches. You do your boss 36 divided by 4, you get 9. So we're going to be placing 9 here, plus 3 inches seam allowance. So what I have here is 12, I'm placing the same 12 here, because this is the new line now. Then you mark it straight. Then there's something called the half length also, which is um, where your waistline is, your true waistline. You can decide to come in here by one inch and just give it a little shape. This is optional. You can still make it straight if you want. Then you, you square this part up and we are going to curve. We are going to curve like so. Um, you are going to slope the shoulder by half an inch because we are not straight. You need to slope your shoulder. And here we're going to place our neck width, which is 3 inches by 1. This is because it is the back that we are cutting first. So it's 3 by 1 inch for the back. Then you slope your shoulder by half an inch and you connect the line like so. So you can divide here into 2, which will give us about um, 4.25. Then, because it's the back also, you come in by so if I just a little, okay, and you connect a straight line. From there, you create another curve again. This is for the arm fold. Okay, so when you are finished doing this, the back pattern is complete. Now, this is for the front pattern. We will just do the same thing that we have done before. The shoulder, we are going to place one inch first or 1.25 as the case may be for your zipper allowance because the zip will be in the front okay so after placing your one inch then you can now start your shoulder from the line and what we have is 8.75 that's the shoulder we're working with and again the chest line is nine inches the bust divided by four is nine inches 36 divided by four is nine inches it's 8.75 8.75 okay so i'll draw a straight line here i put 8.75 here to get a straight line so on my chest line which is nine inches i'm placing my boss divided by four nine inches plus three inches seam allowance everything i have here is 12 i'm taking it down to the hem okay now let's not forget that our lens our working with we said is 23 Minus 3 from that will give you 20, and we added 1 inch, making it 21 for joining allowance. 
So you just draw a line across like so. Connect your sides also. This is 12 here. Our shoulder slope for the front is one inch. Our um, neckline is three inches. Please, I'm doing everything I'm doing from the zipper line because this one will be bended inside at the end of the day. So our neck for the front is three by three inches. Three inches width and three inches depth. Okay, then you connect your line like so and you draw out your shoulder slope. Now you can divide here the shoulder slope to the chest line is eight into two and you have four inches. You can come in here by half an inch. Draw a straight line from the shoulder slope to this point and you create your curve. All right, now after doing this, this is our zipper. This is the zip. We are going to mark out how our invisible po our visible pocket. We are doing a visible pocket and a weld pocket. Okay. Now, first of all, for the visible pocket. So for the visible pocket, we are going up. Let's do it on the jacket first. We are going up by eight inches. This is eight inches. Then with the zipper allowance inclusive, this is one inch. The width is five inches. Okay, you can make it five inches or 5.5 inches. Okay, you are adding the zipper allowance. We are continuing from here into it. That is this. Then you come down by 5.5. Then the width of the pocket is 9 inches. Everything is starting from, you know, the zipper line, okay? Then you have to draw a straight line. You can mark your 5.5. Yes, 5.5. You can mark it here also. Where you have your 6, your 5.5 inches. You draw it like this. And like this. Then you just make a slight curve. Okay? So this is how the pocket will be. Put it here again. I said that the width is 5.5 while the length is 8 inches. We are transferring it. Let's assume this is your fabric. You are going to be making it 8.5 because we are adding zipper allow uh, folding allowance to it. Here is 5.5. Okay? The width here is 9 inches. You make this one 9.5 on the fabric. Just place 9.5 in different areas to get a straight line. Now we'll come down here by 6 inches because of our join allowance here. Then just draw a straight line on this side. Then you make a curve. So this one is our visible pocket. So this is for the visible pocket, the one we are going to place on it. Now for the weld pocket, the weld pocket will be done on the other side of the front piece. Assume that this is the second piece, okay? The second piece for the front. Because the front we are going to have it time soon. It's not on fold like the back. So you're going to come in by 4 inches. Come in by 4 inches and make a line. Go up by 2 and a half. Make the weld length 6 inches. Then make half inch mark on both sides of the line. Half inch mark on both sides of the line. Then you come down by half an inch. Go up here by half an inch and make a triangle. This is the weld pocket. We're going to make a slip. This one is not done on a separate fabric. You do it on the main fabric. So you make a slit here. When you get to the triangle, you stop and continue your, your triangle on this side and on this side. Okay? Then you come the other way, continue up to the other triangle here. Come to this side, 
and come to this side as well. Then you stop. Your wealth pocket should look like this. The wealth pocket should look like this. So this is what the wealth pocket will look like. Then you will now cut your pocket bag. The first pocket bag will be 8 inches while the other one will be 7 inches. One pocket will be longer than the other one. This is 6 inches we have here and we need 7 inches at the end of the day because you need allowances on both sides. So the width will be 7 inches by 8 inches. So this 7 inches part is what will stay here. This longer one will be the one that stays on top like this. It goes towards the zipper area. While the second one will be a length of 7 inches. The other one will be the same width but it will be shorter. That is just the difference. Okay, so one is 7 inches by 8 inches. The other one is... 7 inches by 7 inches so you have two pockets one is longer than the other so you place it under, under the welt like this so we are we'll go and start cutting down on the fabric and we'll sew then you can have a better understanding